Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you some new changes I've done to Pose Driver Editor in Meshmore 4. Uh, when the, we can find the Pose Driver Editor in the Poser uh, in Meshmore 4, if you use Open Skeletal Mesh, go to Poser. You will have this Pose Driver tab. It's going to be by default here on the left side, but you can move it and place it wherever you want. I like it to keep it here on the right side. And uh, uh, the changes I'm talking about are uh, the ability to load the uh, post driver setup from uh, our uh, post process animation blueprint and uh, the ability to update neutral pose in uh, that uh, post process animation blueprint, right? Uh, in this video, we're going to uh, focus on loading animation blueprint from uh, our post process animation blueprint, right? So let's, uh, let's uh, load uh, this uh, file and we will see that we have now in uh, this list the entire post driver setup uh for uh, our meta human body so uh keep in mind that this works only with uh, uh driven bones uh driven poses we cannot use uh driven curves so all this is based on dri uh, driven poses right we have to modify a pose uh, each time we cannot trigger curves with the current version of mesh for obviously in the future I, i'm planning to be able to uh create a post driver nodes uh, that uh, drive curves right so stay tuned for that as well and uh let's uh, see our pose here uh we let's test the uh, clavicle l up uh, by 40 degrees uh, this uh is uh, our uh, pose here but before uh, actually let's reset this and uh, before to be able uh, to to make sure that you're using uh, uh the right pose disable post process we don't want to trigger post process when when we work on our pose drivers we don't want to have uh, bones affected already by post process when we work with a uh, pose driver right so just uh, disable post process and now we can go ahead and uh, uh, work on our poses here uh, we've uh, loaded the clavicle l up by 40 degrees and uh, let's test it uh we're gonna search for a bone here and uh let's search for scap and uh we're just gonna do this modification of from for our default uh, post driver node and uh, we're just gonna make it like this it doesn't matter you invest uh, time in it to make it look good so, uh, if you don't it will look like what i'm doing here right so uh <laughs> let's uh uh update this uh selected the uh, modification and uh, if you right click on this clavicle l up by 40 degrees we have the ability to update the pose we have to update the pose if we want this change to be exported right otherwise it will never be exported it, it's only here in uh, this viewport so we have to update pose right every time uh if you want to make sure it uh, gets exported so now uh, we have here the ability to generate data, which will write everything in uh, in uh, uh, post-process animation blueprint, and will, it will also create the animation sequences and pose assets and everything that uh, goes around this uh, pose driver setup, right? So if uh, we if you click on generate pose assets, it will only generate the sequences and pose assets file, right? So. We will go with generate data here uh, because we want everything to be functional implemented in our uh, post-process animation blueprint as well. Uh, if we dub double click on our post-process uh, blueprint where we want to write these, uh, these uh, changes, uh, then we have the ability to choose a path where we, we will actually write our sequences and pose assets, right? So in these pose drivers, uh, it's gonna be where we save our uh files let's click save and now we can uh, test it out uh if uh, we go to persona don't test out uh, the post driver uh, setup in mesh more for you have to test it in persona so go to persona and uh, let's uh, select our clavicle uh, bone here and uh, let's move it up and we will see our change here uh triggered uh, when uh, the clavicle moves up right so uh the good thing uh, with this is that uh, we can uh, load the existing default uh, animation blueprint uh, uh 
post-process animation blueprint from a meta human we don't have to start everything from scratch we can just build on top of what is there already uh, and uh, i think this is a huge step forward uh, that uh, allows us to kind of uh, really customize how uh, meta humans work with mesh morpher right uh, don't forget that if you update neutral if you change the neutral uh, pose of your skeletal mesh and you don't want to go through all this you can try to only update neutral pose in uh, the pose uh, driver uh, uh, setup in your animation blueprint right so you can also do that uh, this is it for this video. I just wanted to show you these uh, new changes here. And uh, I think uh, they are very powerful changes uh, with the uh, driver editor in Mesh Morpher. Uh, as I said, in the future, I want to make, uh, uh, to implement uh, the ability to create uh, pose drivers that uh, drive curves and they're not poses. So we can trigger certain curves uh, with our driver setup uh, it's something that is going to happen in the future and uh yeah uh this is it uh, for this video guys i hope you you like uh, this uh, new functionality here and uh, see you around bye